Joining us now, Reince Priebus, <laughs> chairman of the Republican National Committee. As we mentioned, he's been with Donald Trump during his debate preparations. Great to see you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you for having me. All right, so let's start with this. H how have you seen him recently? Yep. Today? This afternoon, sure. Okay, how is he? He's great. I mean, he's relaxed. He's doing well. Come on, he's a little nervous. They, he's you know, only he's human. He's really not. He's not nervous. Um, but he's getting ready, and, and he's, I think he's going to be How? Really what can you prepared. tell us about it? Um, look, he's studying. He's going through the issues. He's got a good team there and going through particular questions that might come up, and he's handling it, and he's been working on it. It's not like it's something that you know, just uh, happened the last couple of days has been doing Does he stand behind a lectern when he does the prep? Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. Do you throw I mean, the meanest, most <laughs> obscene questions you can think of at him? Sometimes we do, and sometimes we just go through policy. It just depends on the day and what's on the schedule. How many people um, does he allow in there? I mean, because too much information can be a bad thing. Sure. I mean, I don't, I don't even know what the number is. I've never really done a head count. But I'd just say this. The team is very well prepared. The right people are in the room. And I can tell you that Donald Trump's head is in this thing, and he's been consistent, and he's been working hard, and he's got a really good attitude about it. But I can tell you, it's not like he's sitting around wringing his hands nervous. He's pretty calm, cool, and collected. It'll happen tomorrow night because well, he's, he is a human being. It is. She is a human being. We like to think they're not when they run for president, but they are. And you cannot help but get no. nervous. But e even somebody like me who's in front of millions of people every night. Right. You, before those presidential debates, your heart starts pumping a little faster. Right. And, you know, but here's the thing. I mean, she, Hillary Clinton's been doing this for almost three decades. Um, She's going to be held to a pretty high standard tomorrow night. The detail, all the things that she's been, you know, she's lived her life around the legislative process. So Donald Trump's an outsider. Um, and they all both have different things that I think they need to accomplish. And I think, you know, the burden's going to be on her in a pretty big way. What of this question, which Donald Trump is showing up? You know, um, is it going to be the more subdued Trump, or do you think he's going to be well, on the attack? I think if you look at the last few weeks, Megan, you've seen a very measured, on message Donald Trump who's been doing a fabulous job and laying out policy. You know, something but a that lot isn't of teleprompter covered. involved in that. And the question right, is whether, without the prompter, with this, you know, opponent needling him, needling, we're going to see the same guy, or we're going to see the lion Ted, little Marco, look at my hands guy. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think that I think you're going to see someone who's ready to be president of the United States. That's the Donald Trump that I've seen over the last several weeks. Uh, somebody, I think, that has really focused in on the general election. I think sometimes, too, you go from a primary, and, you know, the clips were a fond reminder of our <laughs> primary debates. It's pretty wild stuff. And I think More going from More fond for that, some than others. <laughs> right, I understand. But you go from that to the general election, and also the gravity of the presidency, yeah. and, and that f facing you down in the next, what is it, 46 days. I think that... I think that has really come to light to, okay, to Donald so, Trump, and I think he gets that. So speaking of the gravity of the presidency, what of this dust-up about Mark Cuban? She started it by she saying did. she was going to put Mark Cuban in the front row right. and, you know, sort of antagonize him a bit. And he responded by saying, great, let's do that. I'll put Jennifer Flowers in there. So, and Jennifer Flowers has said she wants to show up. Is she showing up to the debate? Uh, not, she's not showing up through a ticket of our campaign, uh, I can tell you that. Okay, so, so she's but not going to be in the front row. But here's the thing. They got cute. And then, of course, you know, Mark Cuban got pretty smart on Twitter and started needling the campaign. And so this is a brush back. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it, it wasn't just like, oh, we'll invite Mark Cuban. It was we're going to invite Mark Cuban. He's going to play games. And so uh, the campaign brushed him back. Mm -hmm. And I think they did a good job brushing him back. And so is there any limitation on that sort of mind game that they can play with each other, well, with their guests? Well, look, I, the, I, but here's what I think is going on, and I, I don't have total clarity on this, but I think that the, presidential de the Committee on Presidential Debates has made it clear that we're not going to have these kind of shenanigans in the front row, in the screenshot tomorrow night. I don't know exactly what the process is going to be for making sure that that doesn't happen. Obviously, family members are going to be in those prime spots, but certainly, you know, some kind of... Uh, oddball scenario I don't think is going to be allowed by the debate commission. I think each side, each campaign is going to have some sort of say over who is in that screenshot outside of family. Okay, of so she could exercise a veto right over That's what, Kathleen uh, Willie or Jennifer Flowers. Something or like that. I don't, I don't want to get too far in the weeds, but I do believe the debate commission is handling this issue and I think doing it the right way. And unfortunately, Hillary Clinton played this card mm -hmm. a few days ago to put us in this situation that we're in. I have this to say to the Presidential Debate Commission.
Welcome to our world. <laughs> it's been this way for a long time, just unexpected, unprecedented debates and excitement and surprises. So that's what we expect tomorrow it's night. It's going to be a great night, I think, and Donald Trump is ready. Are you nervous? You're a little nervous. I'm a little You're nervous, nervous sure. I mean, it's, it, 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 but, you know, obviously the candidates are the ones that are really in the hot seat. And yeah. Could this debate change the race? I think it can. I mean, I, I, I think, you know, look, we have a change candidate and we have someone that's done this for a long, long time, and it's a change electorate. But anytime you have a change electorate, you're always measuring risk versus change. How much risk will I take to make yeah. the change? And I think the last few weeks have been great for Donald Trump, and if he continues the approach he's on, which I think he will, and we're proud of what he's been doing, I think he's going to have a great night, and I think it's going to be harder and harder for Hillary. 90 minutes, Hofstra. Tomorrow night, this time tomorrow, 24 hours from now, we'll all be watching it. And we'll be watching Ryan's to see if we can see the sweat. <laughs> <It's not laughs> Great to see happen. you. Thanks for being here. All right. Here.